Hello, it's Miss Nicole from the South Fayette and Bridgeville Libraries, and I'm here today to give you another author and some activities to do for a fun summer. Today, I want you to go to Storyline Online again, and I want you to hear the story, Clark the Shark. It's written by Bruce Hale and read by Chris Pine. Let me show you how to get on. Well, here I typed in Storyline Online on my computer, and you could see in the second row that I found Clark the shark. Clark is a very exuberant shark and he goes to school. If I click on it, I can see the actor Chris Pine. He's gonna read us all about Clark. And Clark gets really excited about a lot of things. And in this story, he needs to learn how to calm down. And he will use some rhyming words. When you're done listening to the seven minute story, come back and we will make a sensory bottle to maybe help us calm down and a sun catcher. We'll see you soon, enjoy. Well, Clark the Shark sure is a fun story and Clark needed some help calming down. So I thought that we could make a shark in a bottle um, and help us calm down too. So you may have seen some of these sensory bottles where there's glitter or some beads and different things in there. And I also cut out a shark out of some felt or some foam and put it in there. So what you need to make your own sensory bottle is of course a clear plastic um, water bottle filled about three-fourths of the way up. Then because you want to make it blue like the ocean you can put in just a drop of blue. Otherwise it gets too dark and you can't see in there. Well, I have some glitter, which is always great to have in your bottle. I got blues and purples so that it can look like the ocean. Woo, you'll put as much as you want in. And I got some of these different beads, pony beads, I think they call them, to make bracelets and necklaces. And I picked out all the colors that you might find in the ocean, purples and pinks and blues and silvers and greens. Put as much as you want. Don't forget your shark. I got a piece of foam from the dollar store and I just drew a shark on it, cut it out. It had glitter on the back, which made it even better. And I put them in there. And then I tried all kinds of things. I tried vegetable oil, I tried glitter glue, but the best thing that I found that I liked was clear hair gel that I bought this huge bottle from the dollar store. And I'm gonna try to put it in there the rest of the way. Come on now. Well, come on, there it goes. After you get that in there, you want to put your cap on. Now, to make sure that it doesn't come off, you can put a little bit of super glue or gorilla glue in the cap and put it on. And that will be how you close it up. So we'll finish this one in a minute, but here's what it's gonna end up looking like. And it's nice to just Calmly look at all the beads and glitter going down, and my shark move around, and then back up again. You can maybe use it if you have to take a time out. So another activity that we're gonna do is we are going to make a shark sun catcher. For a shark sun catcher, you need um, some clear contact, you need two pieces of it about the same size. So I already took my one paper off and I started sticking on some tissue pieces of um, lighter and darker blues. Just tissue paper you wrap a present in. This one even has some glitter and some whites and you wanna fill up the entire page. So parents can do the cutting or kids can do the cutting and then have fun just putting them on. You don't need any glue or anything. Just put on to make your ocean. 
And finally, you need some gray paper. Your gray paper is what you're gonna need to draw some sharks. I tried to draw a regular shark and a hammerhead. Then I cut them out. And I'm gonna put them on my ocean right there. Now finally, I want to put my other sticky piece of contact paper on top so then I can hang it on my window and watch the sharks swimming in the ocean anytime I want. So let me get that on and show you what it looks like when I'm done. I finished my sun catcher. Look at my cool ocean. When I cut it out, I made wavy lines around. And there are my two sharks, the silhouettes, like if I was in the ocean and I saw them. I also finished my sensory bottle. Now, I had to add a little more water to, um, to get it filled up, so you don't have to fill it all with the clear hair gel. I wanted you to see what it looks like. There's my shark down below, and watch him go up. So, enjoy the shark activities. Have a good summer. Bye.